One of the side benefits of the visual thinking workshop is that I get to see how other people use my tools. I get to see what they struggle with. And this is how I learned that many of my clever keyboard shortcuts simply do not work on Mac OS. So I finally decided to get myself a MacBook and I did some extensive testing and reworking of all my shortcuts, modifier keys, drag and drop actions, etc., to make them work on Mac OS. And as well, I took the opportunity to rework these shortcuts to better align with Obsidian standards. So I'm sorry, there's a side effect to all of this. The old shortcuts no longer work or they are going to achieve different outcomes. So you might need to relearn the shortcuts that you use. However, I think the end result is going to be a much smoother, much better Xcolidraw experience. So let's look at some of these changes very quickly. So first of all, let's look at the shortcuts and I'm going to be using the Windows shortcuts. Otherwise I get confused with my fingers, but here on the other side, you can see the equivalent Mac shortcuts. So first, if I control click a link, that is going to open the page in a new window. If I control and shift click the link, then it's going to open in the same window. Now, if I control and alt click the link, then it's going to open in the panel on the side. And if I hold down the control alt and shift buttons together, then it's going to open in a new window. And additionally here, I don't have a markdown file, but if I hold down the control and the meta or windows key, then it's going to open the markdown properties. Now in terms of drag and drop actions, if I'm dragging and dropping from the internet, so let's say I'm dragging items from this page, then if I drag an item, by default, it's going to insert the image with a link to the URL. So this image is not going to be saved to your vault. It's going to be placed here with a link to the image on the internet. So in this case, this image is now not in my vault. It's from the internet. Now, if I hold down the control key when I drop the file, then you can see that the tooltip up there says insert link. In this case, Xcolidraw is going to insert a link to this file. So if I now let go the mouse button, then you can see that here I have a link to the file itself. And finally, when I drop this object and I hold down the shift button, then this is going to import the image to my vault. So this is going to be saved in my attachments folder. And this file is going to be created and stored in my vault. The benefit of this approach, and this is what I usually use, is in this case, even if the file is removed from the internet, I will have a copy of it. And then finally, I want to show you the drag operations from the Obsidian file manager. So if I drag a file, then by default, Xcolidraw is going to insert a link to the file. However, if I press the shift button, then it is going to insert it as an image embed, or if it's a markdown file, then as a markdown embed. And maybe let me just drag something else. I'm going to drag this image. So if I hold down the shift, it's going to insert the image itself. If I just simply drag this and let go, it's going to insert the link to the file. And I have this additional option to anchor the image size to 100%. I have a separate video that explains this about the de deconstruction of images, why this is useful. So if I hold down the control and alt and then let go, then the image is going to be embedded at 100% of its size. Now, a bit of useful tip when dragging from the file manager, you first the drag, I'm now not pressing any keys. I just hold the mouse button and I drag and then I apply 
the shortcut that I want to do. So now I'm pressing the shift key and then I let go of the mouse button and then I let go of the shift key and that's how you insert the file. On Mac OS, what I experienced is when I drag a file, especially if I drag a file from external, then I need to wait a second until the default Mac drop action with a, for me, green background white plus sign disappears and then I can press my shortcut. So you might need to wait one or two seconds before your modifier key is recognized by Xcola draw, but with a little practice, I think you will get the hang of it. It feels pretty natural. So that's all I wanted to share today. The update seems little because it's only the keyboard shortcuts that changed. Trust me, this took me several days of work and lots of hassle working through these keyboards. It is a big change. I hope everything works. I did my best to test it throughout. If you find any issues, please let me know on GitHub and I'll try to get back to you with an updated release as soon as possible. Thank you.